Good morning everyone, welcome back to the 120th. Um, today I'm going to be taking apart the Mamiya 528AL. Uh, if you watch my review of the Mamiya 528AL, um, you will have seen that first of all I really liked it, it was a great camera, um, makes a lovely noise. But also, that halfway through the shoot something weird happened. Um, and it's very difficult to show you on camera, but essentially there is a fly stuck on the mirror, right slap bang in the middle of the viewfinder. Um, yeah, it doesn't affect the images, obviously, but that fly on the mirror is really irritating. And uh, I'm not blessed with vast amounts of patience, sadly. I'm not really a collector. I am a user. I want to keep this, these cameras alive. I want to keep them um, usable and taking good photographs. So I have taken the decision to um, at least take the top off and, and, and have a look and see what's under there. I have no idea how to do that. So I'm just going to unscrew stuff um, and see what happens. Again, if you've watched any of my other videos, then you will know that when it comes to camera repair, I'm very much in the uh, enthusiastic amateur category. Um, but I want this camera to work. So first things first, I got this little bad boy off, uh, off Amazon a little while back. I quite like it. The wow stick. It's basically just a powered screwdriver. It's, um, but it's quite good. So let's first of all, see what we can see on the top here. So we have, um, uh, kind of lens, uh, lens spanner unscrewing mechanism here, which I will do. There's also one screw on the side and another screw on this side. So what will quite often happen with um, these cameras when you're uh, looking to take them apart is um, that the screw, so for example, this one, that looks like it's just a kind of a cap screw um, to, to hold the, um, the, the, the film wind arm in place. Uh, is likely to be structural as well, in, in the sense that the, 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 the positioning of this cap actually holds the top piece of the camera in place. I sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't really. I even don't really, I haven't got a clue. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Now this wow stick, I got, oh, first of all, it's a terrible name, surely. A wow stick. Um, I got it off eBay. No, I didn't. That's a complete lie. I got it off Amazon. Um, and uh, I don't know that it makes my life any better. I don't know that it makes this job any easier. But it makes an awesome noise. And I love noises. It sounds like a dentist drill. It makes me feel like precise. And like I'm doing precision things. Okay, so that's that one out. So let's unscrew this one now. No, in fact, let's do these side ones because I know that they will need to come out if this top is to come off, so. Okay, put that one on the mat. So that's the side. There you go. So let's, um. Crack open the old, oh Jesus, who's done these up? Right then, then, oh, so, okay, yeah, that seems to be happy. Hold the um, film arm. Okay. Okay. So that then is off. And the, uh, so there's a washer in there. And another piece. Okay. So that was bottom, that was top. Right, so. Okay, we're making progress. This looks like. Okay, so I think this one's gonna have to come off as well. That's next. Okay. All right, might be in business here. Let's see what happens. So that's all coming up happily at that end. 
Oh, there's another screw here. Push it back down. Okay, just pop that one up there by that. Now, yeah, there we go. Now I'm fully expecting this to be attached by some wires in here. I don't know. Well, there we go. So that looks like, this looks like a kind of a retaining spring of some sort. And you feel like if you were to lift that off, must see if I can get, there we go, like this. And then roll that all the way back and see if this piece wants to come out this way. Hmm. Hey. Wow. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a prism. How cool is that? Uh, uh, That's very exciting. It's a proper solid block as well. Actually, let's have a look at that. Let's have a little look at that. God, this. Oh yeah, it could be. It literally looks like a squashed fly. All right, so let us give this prism a clean. And that has got rid of the offending particle. I don't know whether it was a spider or what. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So in comparison to what we had before, that is now looking, I would say, close to being immaculate on that side. Now we look at this side, which I, has lots of finger marks on it, but I suspect that may have been me. Okay, it's amazing though. So this is, this is your prism. Um, so obviously that faces downwards so that the, the image comes in, comes up through here, and it's just a, it's a block of glass. Amazing. Look at that. All right, let's just put it back together. Let's put it back together. So there's nothing, it just, it just slots into place there, like so. And then it's held in place with this spring, which I'm just gonna kind of stretch up and over the top. Oh, that, that didn't sound good. There we go. All right, and that's basically it. So now, uh, let's just have a quick look actually. Look at that, clean as a whistle. Perfect, good. So now I just need to put it back together again. Oh, no, that's gone right back in. Okay, so in reverse order of how I, took the whole thing apart. Okay, and this should now turn. It does. This washer is like greasy and so it sticks to everything. It just keeps sticking to my finger. Ooh. Looks promising. A, that's exactly what I hate doing with these damn pliers. So look at that. That's all it takes is, uh, and I've just taken a, I should scratch that. Now I'm not kind of, you know, OCD about my scratches. Um, not too fussed at all, but at the same time, it's quite irritating. Right, final screw. There we go. Well, let's put it this way, the lens is now 
or rather the viewfinder is now clear. If I unlock that, the camera fires. That all seems to be working. You know, that was uh, useful for me to be able to uh, dig around inside a, uh, a camera and fascinating as well. You know, these things are, uh, they're amazing pieces of engineering. That prism's amazing. I've never seen anything like that before. Obviously it's in, this, it's in every camera and it will come as absolutely no surprise to 99% of you, but I'm still excited about it. So, so there we go. That was the inside of a Mamiya 528AL. Another slightly niche video um, that will be of interest to a limited number of people. But for that limited number of people, hope that helped. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. The more subscribers I have, the more good I feel about myself and my niche interests. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.